It's the first plenary of 2024 and the 90th legislative day at the makeshift River State House of Assembly in the premises of the Assembly Quarters, Port Harcourt. The atmosphere is convivial as members are in a jovial mood. Soon the speaker walks in and the business of the day begins. There are three items for consideration and among them are two bills and an expected report from the audit committee who plead for more time. Mr. Speaker, a bill for a law to amend the River State Traditional Rulers Law number 4 of 2015 and for other matters connected thereto. Mr. Speaker, this bill has three clauses. Mr. Speaker, when passed into law, a bill for a law to repeal the River State advertisements and use of state owned properties, Provision Law Number 7 of 2022. Mr. Speaker, this bill has two clauses. Let me. Speaking, however, the Speaker complains that the State Governor has neither presented the medium term expenditure framework nor the 2024 appropriations bill to the House. The 2024 appropriation bill is yet to get to this August Assembly. As it stands today, we have not received the medium term expenditure framework, we have not received the appropriation bill for 2024. It means the state at the moment is operating without a budget for approved by this August Assembly in line with the 1999 Constitution as altered. Speaking to pressmen, however, the member representing Asari Toro, Honorable Enemy George, explains the idea behind both bills and denies that they are targeted at weakening the governor's power. The House is not taking away the power of the governor to do anything. We're only strengthening democratic institutions. If we've made laws to strengthen local government institutions. We're also making laws to strengthen traditional institutions so that traditional rulers can independently perform their functions without fear or intimidation. We need them to be more active in governance. We need them to be more active in the democratic space. The last has definitely not been heard in the reverse political imbroglio. Many will be waiting to see the governor's reaction to the latest move by the 26 legislators who are believed to be loyal to the FCT minister. Charles, Upper Room, Channels Television News.